All right, it's warming up outside, and you know what that means. It means you need to start taking all your cold weather clothes, folding them up, and putting them at the back of your closet. Which also means you start taking those rich and warm fragrances and put them at the back of your collection, start gathering up your green fragrances, your freshies, your aquatics, and get ready for spring. But 2022 is all about balling on a budget. So let's kick off spring the frugal way, with 10 affordable fragrances that will have you Falling on a budget. So stay tuned. Cue that intro. What's going on, my beautiful fragrance family? I hope each and every one of you are doing freaking amazing today. And welcome back to My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the channel all about helping boost your confidence through the art of fragrance and helping you become a lasting scent memory. Here in the great state of Tennessee, it is going to be almost 70 degrees today. I'm not exactly sure where you live or if spring is actually right around the corner. Let me know what the weather's like where you're at, when spring actually arrives, and also what are some of your favorite springtime fragrances. They don't have to be affordable, they can be whatever you want. Just throw them down in the comments. I'm really curious, I'm very interested to know what you're going to be rocking this spring. Like I said, 2022 is all about balling on a budget. So I put together a list of 10 fragrances that I think would be great to add to your arsenal to have you smelling great to boost your confidence this coming spring. So let's find out what those fragrances are in today's Whiffs and Sniffs. So first up on my list comes from the House of Rasasi. It's a cheapie and it's Fatan. So this is new to my arsenal. I got this a few weeks ago and I'm gonna tell you what, I really enjoy this fragrance. It does give me Terra Mez vibes, 100%. Um, I believe that they were probably going for some sort of inspiration towards Terra d'Hermes. If not, well, they did. This is a lot fruitier, though. This isn't as dirty. And I really love the performance on this. This thing just freaking lasts. And I can't wait to wear it this spring and summer because I look forward to people asking me what I'm wearing. Because I'm going to be like, fat tan, bro. Yeah fat tan. So this is going to start out with this really juicy grapefruit, a lot of sweet, juicy grapefruit. And you also get some pink pepper, adding a little bit of a fruity vibe to it, a little bit of spiciness, but this is not dirty whatsoever compared to what like Terra d'Hermes is. That is very earthy and like a dirty orange. This is like a really fresh grapefruit, very fruity, slightly sweet, but a really nice sweetness. And that's coming from Benzoin. And then you get vetiver. The vetiver in this is actually quite reminiscent of the vetiver that's in Terre d'Hermes. So you're getting some earthiness, but this is also adding a little bit of a creaminess to it. Because of the way that is blended with, I believe like a lily of the valley or some sort of white floral, or it could be a huge combination of white florals. Cause this gets quite creamy as it starts drying down and then just pretty woody, sweet and woody. But Fatan, I think, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Is it Fatan, Fatan? I'm not 100% sure. I might just call it Fat Tan, but this bad boy would be a great one for the spring because it's got some nice green qualities to it, but it also has enough punch to where if it's cooler, this will still punch through the cool. I got mine for like 35 bucks from fragranceby.ca. Rasasi Fatan or Fat Tan. I'm going with Fat Tan. Another one that's new to my arsenal and it is gonna be Lolita Lampica and this is Green Lover. I did say in one episode, I think it was one of my whiffs of the week, that this is not very suitably named because it's not very green. It does have some green characteristics to it, but it does have a beautiful vanilla. And I did find out later that Lolita Lampica is all about being green. They're very eco-friendly. And being a green lover, I 100% support that. And I also 100% support this fragrance. Green Lover is awesome. Now, you do get some greenness to it. You get some mandarin in this, and I do believe that the note breakdown actually says it is a green mandarin, though it's just a nice citrus to start things off. There's also a nice juniper berry that's almost giving it a, like a, a gin quality, a little bit of a booziness. You get a really nice mint in here, so that's nice and green, but that's a little overshadowed by the vanilla, because once the vanilla and the musks come in, man, this thing, whoo! A vanilla bomb. It really is, but a very beautiful vanilla. It smells like it'd be perfect on a nice cooler spring day or even a nice warmer spring day. If it's not too humid outside, I could just see this wafting around you and just making your day even more pleasant. This is a very pleasant smelling fragrance. It's quite relaxing, honestly. This would be a great springtime office signature scent. 
Lolita Lempica, I got my bottle for like $39. Now it's not always easy to find at discounters because uh, it does sell out quite quickly, but if you see this popping up, definitely check it out. Lolita Lempica, green lover. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the elephant out of the room because this next one, it's a dupe. It's a clone of Green Irish Tweed and it's our moth, Trey Nui. Now Trey Nui doesn't smell exactly like Green Irish Tweed. All right, it, I mean, it does have a lot of the same characteristics when it dries down. The dry down is all, is very similar. Not 100%, but very similar. The opening is a little sharp because you get this sharp, like, lemony citrus. And you also get some lemon verbena. But that it settles down. It settles down nicely. But you just got to wait for it. And you don't want to spray too much because this is a beast. And it can fill a room and it can choke you out. Trust me, I remember when I picked this up, I sprayed it in my haul video and I choked myself out in that video. I'll leave a card right here so you can go check that out. But Trey Nui, it is a really good fragrance, especially if you really want Green Irish Tweed. This is very, very similar. There are other ways of smelling like it, but this is one of your cheapest. About I got my bottle for like $18.99 or something like that, 19 bucks. Ridiculous. This also has some iris in it and some violet. It get, you have a nice wateriness. It does smell like Irish spring once it starts drying down. And those harsh top notes kind of just fade away. And what you're left with is actually a really good fragrance. Now, presentation-wise, sucks. Atomizer, blows. But the fragrance is actually pretty good. Especially for the price you can get it at. So if you want to smell like Creed's Green Irish Tweed, but you're balling on a budget this year, then check out our moth. Trey Nui. Maybe Ross over at TLTG Reviews, maybe he'll agree with me on this next one. It's a Davidoff Run Wild. This is a awesome fragrance, actually. I was thoroughly surprised. I was thoroughly impressed because not huge on that, like, highly overly bubblegummy freaking. I just threw a whole bag of Big League Chew in, man, and I'm just chomping down on some freaking bubblegum. No, but this does have a little bit of that bubblegummy quality to it. It's just not over bubblegummy sweet. You get a lot of ginger and a lot of lavender in this. There's also a nice spiciness to this, and then it dries down with a bunch of tonka. It's a very nice sweet tonka. I would say it's probably more like coumarin than it is tonka because it does have a little bit of a powdery quality, but it's really just a nice sweet dry down. A little bit of wood supporting it as well. But Davidoff Run Wild, you can find this for stinking cheap too, like 19 bucks for a 50 ml, totally worth a whiff and sniff. Get decent longevity between six, seven hours out of this. Plus it's got good projection, especially in the first couple hours. If you're looking at freshening things up this coming spring, and you want something that's great for the office, great for going out casually, great for maybe even a date, then check out Davidoff Run Wild. Speaking of going out on a date, springtime is made for lovers, man. Springtime is when love is flowing through the air. So maybe you're looking at, you know, hopping back in the game. I know I am. And you need a great date night fragrance. And I'm going to go with Icon de Parfums, The Valley. Indie Niche brand out of Arizona. This is an awesome fragrance. Not the loudest fragrance. Not the longest lasting fragrance. But it's perfect for a date. This has an interesting note breakdown. It starts out with this mm, liquor accord. So you get a little bit of booziness up top. But you're also going to get this beautiful supple leather. It's a nice creamy leather. And then vanilla. And the vanilla in this just blends in with that leather and just kind of adds to the creaminess and adds to the suppleness of that leather. And then you're going to have a nice woody base, like I think some sandalwood, some nice white woods, like oak and maybe a little bit of cedar, just to give it a really nice solid base and round everything out and not allow it to become just overly sweet. This is a very balanced, sweet fragrance. Now, this is completely unisex, male or female. I 100% think this would smell great on either sex. But the Valley, $39.95 for a 50 ml, that's stinking cheap. Again, not going to be the longest performer and not going to be a room filler, but it gets the job done for a very good price. I highly suggest checking out anything from Icon Day Parfums and get a discovery set. See for yourself, $24.95 for the entire lineup. You get to test them out. I think they're 5 ml samples. Definitely worth a whiff and sniff. If you're looking for a great date night fragrance that would be perfect for the spring, definitely check out Icon Day Parfums, The Valley.
Okay, so next up comes from Happy Land Studios, and it's Geranibus. Now, Geranibus did not make it very high on my top 10 Happy Land, but I've started revisiting it, and I'm enjoying it a lot more. There's something special that this fragrance does. Now, you do have geranium in here, and cannabis, the devil's lettuce. It's definitely in here, but it's not overpowering. It's not like just taking over the entire composition. It's a lot more on the geranium and the tomato leaf. It took me a second. I was sitting there trying to figure out, I was like, there's something in this that I enjoy, but it's a little weird. It's the tomato leaf. And I love what it does in this because it just turns that entire composition, turns this into such a green fragrance. It's blended so well with that cannabis. So the cannabis is giving it a little bit of like citric acid feel. So you're getting a nice citrusy feel, but they're also getting a nice watery and rosy quality from that geranium. And that tomato leaf is adding a nice bitter and herbal quality to it. Fantastic. I love the sweetness in this as well. I think this is an awesome fragrance and I'm going to have to redo at some point my Happy Land Studios top 10 because I think this is going to this is going to go up higher. Now, I did just try Green Irish Tobacco. That is also a fantastic one, but I just got a sample, so I did not add it in here. Geranibus, though, definitely worth a whip and sniff. High quality juice at a very low price. 42 bucks for a 30 ml, 55 bucks for a 50 ml. 100% worth it. Very long lasting, great performance, great projection, everything that you're looking for mixed into this tiny little bottle. It's not that small. I get all 30 mLs. You should get 50 mLs. I'm just kidding. Get whatever you want. Definitely check out Happy Land Studios, Geranibus. All right. So you know I love oud. So I had to add an oud into my spring list. You're like, what? Seriously? Yes, but hear me out. I think Boss Bottled Oud Aromatic is going to be awesome this spring now this is spicy there's definitely some spices in this but what the the note breakdown says there's three notes orange blossom myrrh and oud and i can kind of see that i also get a little bit of labdanum in there i also get some other little white florals maybe some clary sage and some nice spices some nice green spices actually and then that myrrh is nice and resinous and it's spicy it's sweet the myrrh actually also adds slight nuttiness to it that and how it's blended with the oud and of course this is going to be a synthetic oud that's okay it smells really good now it's not going to be for everybody you have to be an oud lover because you definitely do get a little animalic quality from the oud there is a nice woodiness coming from it but it's also very musky but oud aromatic is a banger i get great performance out of it this is one that just sticks to my skin. It's got a little bit more depth, so I would wear this on cooler spring days. You can find this for a really good price at fragrancebuy.ca. I got mine for about $50, $60 for 100 ml. Totally worth a whip and sniff. If you're looking for a great kind of fresh oud fragrance, that would be perfect in my opinion for spring, then definitely check out Boss Bottled Oud Aromatic. The next one on my list is for you classy gents out there. You gotta have a good fougere. And how about one from like 1949? Because we're going to go with Rojas Mustache Original 1949. Now, this is an eau de toilette. This is not Mustache EDP. This does not smell anything like Mustache EDP. They are on complete opposite sides of the spectrum. But I will say Mustache EDP would also be a great one to wear in the evenings during the spring. But this is would be a great daytime scent. Your signature scent. This is a lemon, lavender, and oak moss bomb. I freaking love it, especially for the price you can get it at. I got this 120 ml for 44 bucks. What? That's right. Now, this is going to be more mature. This is going to be for you gents out there that enjoy your classic style fragrances, that know that you want to go in and you want to command the boardroom. You want to take over the office. That's what this fragrance is all about. It's fresh and citrusy. You get that beautiful dose of lavender. You get some oak moss, some slight vanilla and amber, and some patchouli in this as well. There's a touch of spice, just a touch. Not overly spicy whatsoever, but I think this is a fantastic fragrance. If you're looking for a lemony citrus bomb, boo. If you are looking for something that you could keep at your office for the spring, look no further. It's time to grow yourself a mustache or buy yourself a mustache. Definitely check out Mustache Original 1949. Again, 
If you're younger, probably not going to be your jam, but there's plenty other ones in this list that are perfect for you. So if you're looking to class it up this spring, check out Rojas Mustache Original 1949. All right, I'm staying away from the rack stores this year. I have not been to a rack store once. I'm totally proud of myself. In fact, I'm giving myself a pat on the back. But for those of you who are not doing the same as me, then you need to keep your eye out for this one. And it's Banana Republic, and it's Vintage Green, 78. Now, 78 Vintage Green is so good. $20 at Burlington, 19.99. Actually, a penny less than $20. But Vintage Green and the entire Banana Republic icon line is actually really, really good for the price. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me do my review of the entire lineup. Well, that I have. I think I'm missing one or two. But I would love for you guys to know more about Banana Republic icon line. Now, Vintage Green has a great tea note, a green tea note in it, and also some nice fig. And the fig is nice and green. It's got some earthy qualities, has a nice juiciness. I'm not going to say it's fruity, but a little bit of juicy qualities to it. Almost a little bit like a watery vibe, but then you're also going to get some green notes. And it just makes this a awesome green fragrance because you're getting a nice green vetiver. Though it's also adding a green woody characteristic to it as well. Vintage green is fantastic for the price. Definitely keep an eye out at your rack stores. Rack stores is the best place to get these. Discounters, I think they're a little overpriced because they're like 40 bucks when you can find them at your rack stores pretty much all the time, depending on where you live for a stinking cheap price for 20 bucks. Decent longevity. I get about five, five hours out of this, but that's all right because it's one you can take with you. Leave it in your office, take it with you on the go, throw it in your European man bag. What, you don't have a European man bag? <laughs> well, you're missing out. Vintage green is fantastic. Definitely worth a whiff and sniff. If you see it, it's totally worth a blind buy. You don't hear me say that pretty much ever, but I would totally blind buy this because I did blind buy this, but I would do it again. Last up on my list comes from Afnan. And I, I wasn't really sure about this fragrance. And now that I've been doing more testing with it, I'm sure it'd be great for the spring. And it's Tarathi Brown. Now Tarathi is, was not what I was expecting. I don't know the notes on this, but I'm going to tell you what I get out of it. I get some rose, I get some spices, but I get a lot of like ozonic and aquatic notes in it. It's actually quite watery. It's got a nice salinity to it. And it's actually blended really well with that rose. There's also some really nice woods, but these are nice clean and dry woods. And you're also gonna get this really, really nice vanilla. This would also be a really good date night fragrance or a just hit in the town, maybe a little more classed up. This is really good and it gets really good longevity and I get really good projection out of it, at least in the first couple hours. I'm actually, Thoroughly impressed. The bottle, I hate the cap. I hate it. But the juice is really good. Um, I found this one for like $45, I believe, somewhere around there. Also one to keep an eye out for. Now, this one does pop up and then it disappears because I don't really know why, actually. I, I, I don't know why. It is a really good fragrance, but there's so many fragrances out there. Why are people just rushing to grab this one? But Tarothi Brown, Totally worth a whiff and sniff if you're looking for a good hit in the town, maybe a more formal type of springtime fragrance. This would be great in the cooler springtime days, but also I think would do really well in the warmer springtime days because of the ozonic and aquatic qualities that are blended in there with the woods, the spices, the vanilla, the patchouli. How, how could I forget telling you about patchouli? This is, it's really good. If you see this popping up, totally worth a whiff and sniff. All right, there it is, guys. 10 amazing smelling, balling on a budget, bangers for this spring. Let me know what some of your favorite balling on a budget fragrances are. You know what to do. But that's it for me today, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. If you enjoyed today's episode, then do me a favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember, you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails.